Unraveling the Mystery, CC and BCC in Emails. Hello everyone. Welcome to another exciting English learning video. Today, we're going to dive into a very practical and everyday aspect of English, email writing. More specifically, we'll focus on the use of CC and BCC in emails. We'll also analyze real-life examples of how these features are used and when it is appropriate to use them. So, let's get started. CC stands for carbon copy, and BCC stands for blind carbon copy. When you put an email address in the CC section, that person receives a copy of the email and all other recipients can see that they have received it. BCC is slightly different. When you put an email address in the BCC section, that person receives a copy of the email, but none of the other recipients can see that they have received it. Remember, use CC when the recipient's knowledge of the email is important but a reply isn't necessary, and use BCC when you want to keep the recipient's email address private or when you want someone to have the information without others knowing. Now that we've got the basics down, let's analyze some real-life examples. Example 1. Consider a scenario where you are emailing a group of colleagues about a meeting. You want to keep your manager informed, but they don't need to respond. This would be a perfect situation to use CC. Your email might look something like this. Subject. Team meeting tomorrow. Hi team. Just a reminder about the team meeting tomorrow at 10 a.m. Kind regards. Your name. CC. Manager's email. Example 2. Imagine you're sending out an invitation for a surprise party. You want to inform another friend about the surprise without the guest of honor knowing. This is when BCC would be useful. Here's an example of how this might look. Subject. Casual gathering next week. Hi. Friend's name. We're having a little gathering at my place next week. It would be great if you could come. Cheers. Your name. BCC. Another friend's email. And that wraps up our deep dive into the world of CC and BCC. Remember, the key to learning is practice. Try using CC and BCC in your emails when it feels appropriate. This will not only help you practice your English writing skills but also teach you more about professional communication norms. Thank you for joining me today. I hope this video has been helpful. Remember to practice, and stay tuned for more English language learning videos. See you next time!